Hello, you're watching my six string journey and in this video I want to talk about my one year guitar progress. So I was just working on REM's Everybody Hurts there and I still need to do quite a bit of work but during this video I'm going to be showing where I have come from and where I've got to, so how bad I was when I first started to play and how hopefully not so bad um, it is now. So that's going to be the topic of this video and I'll be right back with all of that in just a moment. Go, don't go away. So on this channel I'm normally talking about my lessons with my professional guitar tutor uh, or the highs and the lows. Today I want to be talking about my one year progress and this is the one year progress with Michael, my professional guitar tutor. So although those of you that follow me will know that I spent a year prior to that trying to teach myself with limited success uh, and a lot of frustration I have to say, uh, things have progressed slowly but quite nicely uh, with Michael which is great news. And we're now on day 365, it's the 17th of July 2020, and roughly 102 hours of practice undertaken. Now the number of hours averages out at 27 minutes a day. I'm practicing for around about three quarters of an hour to an hour a day at the moment. And the reason why that figure is low is because when I first started with my guitar lessons with Michael, um, we needed to build strength and dexterity in my hand and my fingers used to get really sore and I'll be honest I only used to play for 10 or 15 minutes a day and that's brought that average down but as I've progressed through the year the number of hours that I've practiced has increased and that has shown in my skills and my, my technique which is good. It's still not great but it's better than it was certainly a few months ago let alone a year ago. So when I first started with Michael Stiff fingers and dexterity and strength were the main issue in my left hand and we worked on that with riffs. And the first few riffs that I played, I picked up very quickly and I thought, hey, this is going to be easy. Um, within a year, I'm going to be playing some really good songs and you know, this is going to be a really, really cosy ride. Uh, how wrong was I? It certainly is not that. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, riffs I found easy. Uh, we introduced strumming during the year. That I found relatively easy. Uh, some people find riffs and particularly strumming difficult, so I was quite lucky in that respect. Other people find chords very easy. Unfortunately, chords were my nemesis. That was what really, really slowed me down. Initially, it was getting my fingers in the right shapes quickly enough and without uh, touching and muting other strings. And then more recently, it's been the chord changes, being able to change between the chords quickly enough to keep up with, with backing tracks and the like. So throughout this year, and as you'll see um, in a moment, I'm going to do some video snippets um, of each month through the year so you can see how I've progressed. Um, but chord changes uh, has really been the lion's share of the time that I've had to, to put into this journey. Uh, they are getting better and it's more positive, which is good. And I finished up the year with playing along to a couple of backing tracks. One was uh, strumming and the other one was a riff. And I was pretty pleased with my efforts. They weren't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but I was fairly pleased with the way that they had gone. So for the future, I'm looking to build on this year's hard work and I want to learn more songs and build on that technique with Michael. I also want to introduce the Boss Semi 80 into the mix and maybe try some looping and putting some of my own uh, tracks and uh, maybe some ambient songs and uh, just whatever happens towards the end of this year. So I'm not trying to set my sights too high like I did last year. I want to try and have some realistic expectations um, and try and avoid those low points of which I had quite a few this year. And I want to say thank you to everybody that subscribes to the channel 
and that takes the time to comment. That's been a really big motivation to, to keep pushing forwards, as well as wanting to play. Some of the comments have been really, really nice, particularly in those slide points. So thank you to everybody that took the time. And if you're watching this channel for the first time or this video for the first time, um, please consider supporting me with a sub subscribe. Um, I do value all of my subscribers, so please hit the subscribe button and um, also the bell button for notifications of future videos. Um, probably the last thing that I will touch on before I go into the sequence of video clips is uh, some of you have mentioned the application that I've been using. Uh, my practice sessions towards the end of the year have been very much more structured and I found that to be really, really useful. And also I have found that if I can monitor how I'm getting on from one lesson to the next more closely, that has had a big benefit than just looking back at a video that I did a couple of weeks ago. Doing the videos has been really useful and I would highly recommend that anybody does videos because it's enabled me to look back a number of weeks or a couple of months during this journey to see how I was doing then and how I'm doing now and to be able to see the progression. So doing videos is, is a really, really good idea and I found that extremely invaluable. But the application enables me to see how I'm doing from practice session to practice session, so on a daily basis. Now, that piece of software, I've still got a few bugs and a couple of bits to add into it, so it's not quite ready to put out there yet. Um, but I will do a video when it's ready and if everything goes to plan and things work out for me, then I may well even make it available via my Patreon page. Um, so anyway, that is my review. It's been a slow year, but we have been making some progress. Um, I've had some great friends join me along the way with this uh, journey and a lot of new friends and acquaintances on YouTube, which has been fantastic. And I'll hand over now to have just some video snippets um, of the journey over the last 12 months. And hopefully this time next year, I'll be doing the same, but with more songs and better technique and better playing. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for following. And I will see you on another video coming very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.
can do it if I miss the C. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you play the C and I'll just miss that out. <laughs> right, go on and go again. <laughs>